Hello, my name is Ian Crow, and it has been a long time since I've put any Hearthstone videos up on Ian Crow Productions Co. That doesn't mean I haven't been playing Hearthstone, and that doesn't mean I haven't been making Hearthstone videos. It's just I've been streaming them live to twitch.tv slash Crow. And you have not been there, have you? No, you have not. But you will next time, I trust. So, what I'm going to do today is there are three videos that I want to record back to back to back. And the first one I'm going to do is an extreme video, and a super extreme video. It's going to be a 1440p, that is 2560 by 1440 pixels video, recorded at 30 FPS, well yeah, at 30 FPS in Stereoscopic 3D. Now I wanted to do this video in 1080p at 60 frames per second, because as we should all know now, YouTube supports 60 FPS if you have uh, the correct browser, which... I have to say, yeah, I do have the correct browser now, I do have Chrome, but it's only temporary. As soon as Chrome is not the only browser that can correctly play 60 FPS videos, I will be nuking it from my system, don't you worry. Alright, so let's get started here. Oh, well, I wanted to record at 1080p 60. Let me just finish up what I was saying, but unfortunately, Fraps cannot record at 1080p in 3D. At 30 FPS, I mean at 60 FPS. So I'm doing it at 1440p, 30 FPS, and it seems like it can handle it pretty well. It's 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 at the absolute maximum limit of what Fraps is able to deal with. Uh, I might be able to record 1080p 60 if I had my my two three terabyte drives in a RAID, a striped RAID, but unfortunately I kind of need those those six terabytes. So that's not the setup I have currently, though that's something that I don't know if it even would work, so I kind of don't even want to risk it. But it's a new season in Hearthstone. Let's get into Hearthstone now, enough prefacing. Rank 21 is what I ended up with after the bonus stars I get for ending the next season at like rank 15 or something like that. So I'm just going to play a game. It's one game of Hearthstone at 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels in 3D. Epic. 3D, super high resolution, mega resolution. This is the kind of stuff that I like to produce and put on YouTube. I love this extreme stuff that uh, you can do with YouTube that it does support, but, you know, sometimes the support isn't perfect as it is not perfect with 60 FPS, but hopefully they'll be expanding that. Hopefully they'll enable the Flash player to work with 60 FPS. That way you can have 60 FPS 3D videos. We're gonna throw this hand back. Uh, don't like this hand. Throw away one Azure Drake just to receive another Azure Drake, but that's what can happen sometimes when it's a game that has randomness associated with it. And Hearthstone most certainly is such a game. Okay. So, my hand is full of dead cards. For the early game. Let's see if this is a person with a fast start. Yes, it is. It's gonna be tough unless I start getting some actual cards I can play. <gasps> that is a terrible totem to get, so it's just a really bad start for me so far, but we will continue on. We will press on and see. Oh my god, is it a Murloc deck? Yeah, we'll press on and see what we can do. He's got the coin even. It better not be that one that... Yeah, it is the one that increases attack. That's pretty bad. Stoneforged Axe is a... Uh, very good draw. Very timely draw. Would've been nice to have it last turn, but... Oh well. Going into my turn four, I'm only gonna have three mana, so that means I can basically not play anything. Except Totem. Unless I get something new. I don't have Lightning Storm, which is what I'm going to require to be able to uh, stop this Murloc deck. Taunt Totem would be nice, but it, yeah, another dead card there. Mana Tide Totem draws me a card and saves me three damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage on the field, so I'd take eight instead. Putting me at 15 rather than putting me at 12. 
Actually, that's not a correct calculation because I'm going to kill that. Let's see. I think I need to put down the mana tide so it will help me hopefully draw a lightning storm. Elements guide me. Plus, it will potentially remove or uh, prevent some damage. So let me see. I'm recording at 29, 30 frames per second. That's excellent. This game doesn't have a whole lot of movement associated with it, so you can't really tell that much of a difference. Wow, and even uses that stinky little taunt. So I can't kill any of his murlocs. Let's see, how much damage does he have on the field? Another Hex against a Murloc deck. That is just wonderful, deck. Thank you very much. And I haven't been able to keep anything on the board, so the flame two double flame tongue is completely useless. It's just one of those games where you can't win unless you draw well, and I did not draw well. So I'm gonna just have to hope that this can do something. Pretty much my only option. Gigantic taunt. He should have tapped before playing the grizzly unless... Yeah, he should have tapped before playing the grizzly. That's not gonna happen, my friend. So this is a new player. He thought he could attack my face beyond the giant 7-8 taunt. But it looks like the 7-8 taunt is going to bring me back into this game. On my turn six, I'm gonna only have three mana, which is not enough to do anything. Yeah, Doom Hammer. Um, gotta get some high creepers on the ground or on the field. And do I want to attack this? No. Do not want to attack that. Honor Creepers will hopefully allow me to use Flame Tongue to do some cleaning up. He's got to run his stuff in here. Gonna lose a lot of Murlocs doing that, but... I don't think he's got much of a choice. Good thing I didn't attack that. I'm not taking too much damage. I do still have a really bad hand. Just something to consider. Okay. I'm thinking about hexing this taunt because I gotta get these hexes out of my hand. They are completely useless in this deck generally. Against this deck generally. So, uh. Hex, and then I've got four mana. Kill the Murlocs. Would have preferred to get the Taunt Totem, but it's determined to give me the 1-1 one -one Totem. I think that's both times I summoned a Totem this game. I don't know how much burst damage this deck can do, but... Let's see, Drain Life is a really bad card. Voodoo Doctor in this deck. Excellent. 
totem. Since I got that totem, I will do this. Which will also make Flame Tongue a bit stronger. Is there more targets it can activate? You know take candle. Guy needs to learn to tap before playing cards. This is probably not going to affect him too much with this deck because it's got a lot of uh, small creatures, low cost minions, but it's a really bad uh, habit to get into. Oh, he's trading now? I don't think that's correct. You at least need to get me in Soulfire range. Hmm. So I've got Doomhammer plus two two rock biters. That's 10, 16 damage. And of course, I've done zero damage to my opponent. Ah, man. I think the best thing to do is, like, I really want to do this eight damage, or I can actually make it more than eight. And I positioned this incorrectly, but... Okay. If I can get this up two, then five, then eight, so sixteen damage. Twenty two is what I can do. Actually I can do more than twenty two. They'll this never is seven. If he taps, that helps me out. Hopefully I don't die. Thank God I didn't use Doom Hammer earlier. Elements Elements I love playing this game in 3D when you get fireworks like that going. Got up shield bearer rank. Okay. So that's basically all I wanted to do here. That's the first video done and out of the way. I'm going to move on to the next one. So if anybody has watched this video, and if you've watched it in 3D, that's, then I'm especially glad that you joined me for this Hearthstone gameplay session. Goodbye.